Are animals scared by Halloween masks? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Psy vs. Psy, the channel for all things psychology. Now it's spooky season, so we are continuing our series on the strange, the bizarre, the macabre. One trend I've seen this year is a trend of videos where pets are afraid of Halloween decorations. Somehow the algorithm knows that I'm a sucker for videos of dogs uh, going on their normal walks only to have the bejeebus scared of them by the neighbor's holiday decor. But that's interesting, right? Because why would dogs find the same thing scary that we find scary? Does that suggest that we're tapping into some sort of ancient biological fear circuitry that evolved to help us detect threats? It turns out there's a group of scientists out there that needed answers to this question. So they went out, probably to a pop-up costume store in an old abandoned Sears at the mall, and picked out the scariest masks they could find. Then they packed up their clipboards and headed for, you guessed it, the zoo. The study was conducted by Sinnott, Speaker, Powell, and Mosteller from the University of South Alabama and published in 2012. This was published in the International Journal of Comparative Psychology, which is run by the International Society for Comparative Psychology. Now, the ISCP is a small scientific society run by scientists in the field of comparative psychology, and they decided there needed to be a high-quality, open-access journal for the discipline. The journal, the IJCP, is kind of a cool journal. Even though it's small, the quality of the articles tends to be high, and it's a good example of what scientific publishing could be. Anyway, it's full of articles about unusual creatures that you don't normally see studied in other journals. It is an unusual for articles in the IJCP to report work where scientists collaborate with zoos. The authors of this study point out that lots of animals can learn to discriminate between regular and distorted human faces. Human infants, parakeets, sheep, monkeys, but little is known about attractive versus unattractive faces or normal versus scary faces. The authors start out with three possibilities. First, it could be that scary masks are scary as a result of human culture. Maybe human belief in the afterlife, ghosts, or the supernatural is why we find these kinds of things scary, because our culture tells us so. If that's the case, you would expect that non-human animals, including primates, wouldn't find the masks scary, but humans will. A second possibility the authors put forth is that things are scary because they reflect the things that we, like most animals, are biologically predisposed to fear because of evolutionary pressures in our history. Wide mouths with sharp teeth and large glaring eyes with downturned eyebrows may resemble the features of looming predators that signal danger for many animals. If that's the case, you'd expect many of the animals to be afraid of scary masks. Finally, a third option put forth is that our fear of scary faces is specific to primates. Among primates, humans included, it's common to use specific facial expressions to communicate emotions, moods, and intentions. The wide-eyed, frowny eyebrow, open mouth look usually signals aggression. Both the facial features and their role in social communication are similar between primates. From this point of view, you'd expect humans and non-human primates to find the mass scary, but not the other animals. So they went to the zoo. The zoo was a good place for this for several reasons. One, because they have a lot of animals there. Duh. But also, zoo animals are used to seeing many faces, even unfamiliar ones, so the results won't just be due to seeing someone new. So they went to the zoo with a big pile of Halloween masks of varying degrees of scary, 13 to be exact, plus a normal human face for a total of 14 different experimental conditions. Now actually they went to several zoos and tested a number of different animals of different species. Uh, chimps, macaques, spider monkeys, lions, bears, they even had a camel in tow, a wild boar, several macaws, and several other things. Their dependent variable, the thing they measured, was how much time it would take the animal to take food from the researcher wearing the mask. So they would set up a blind on one side of the enclosure so they couldn't see the researcher wearing the mask. Another researcher would go up and get the animal's attention by tapping on the fence with a pen and would do a countdown. Three, two, one, go! And then they'd start a stopwatch. When they heard the word go, the experimenter with the mask would come out from behind the blind and offer food to the animal, uh, usually with tongs or something like that for uh, safety purposes. 
They also did a session with the masks in a classroom with 14 human participants and simply asked them to rate all of the masks to show how scary they were. So what did they find? Well, for non-primates, they didn't seem to care at all about the masks, treating all of them pretty much the same. For primates, however, they were really hesitant to take food from some of the masks. And those that had the longest latencies to take the food were the same ones that the human participants rated as the scariest. So it isn't just humans that find these masks scary. Our non-human primate cousins also get freaked out by weird vampires and aliens. The primate biological hypothesis seems to be the best explanation. Now, there are a couple of caveats that come up when doing comparative research across many different species that have to be discussed. It could be that the other animals just don't see very well, and that's why they didn't find it scary. But previous studies show that parakeets have really good vision and can distinguish fine details of faces of other birds, at least, and many other animals can distinguish between human faces, so this alternative seems unlikely. But there were some subtle differences between humans and primates and what they found scary. Two of the masks were rated very not scary by humans, Bill Clinton and Al Gore. But while zoo primates liked Bill, they were not a fan of Al, taking twice as long to take food from him. It's possible that his large toothy smile was interpreted as an intimidating fear grimace. One of the masks was a gorilla, which the humans found moderately scary or maybe even kind of cute. But the non-human primates rated him as the scariest of all the masks, taking 84 seconds on average to take food from him. Both humans and non-humans agreed, though, that the vampire mask was pretty damn scary, rated the highest by humans, and taking 81 seconds for the non-human primates to take food from him. Another note is that there were some individual differences in response to the masks. The macaques Willy and Reba tended to turn away so they didn't have to look at the weird masks, whereas Marcel the Gray-Cheeked Mangabe and Spencer the Spider Monkey decided to throw hands, screeching and shaking the cages and threatening the mask with menacing facial expressions of their own. Sissy the Spider Monkey didn't seem bothered by the masks, whereas Buddy the Macaw, a bird, responded similar to the primates and seemed scared of the masks. Who knows why? So there you have it, the masks we devise to be scary for humans are scary to other primates. This is useful knowledge in case you ever need to scare uh, a mar marmoset or something. Okay, maybe this isn't the most practical thing I could have told you about, but it's, it's still interesting, right? Maybe if you want to be extra scary, you should focus on masks with features that mimic primate aggressive expressions. Yeah, that's useful. Now you've got the knowledge to be mega scary this year. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. We're always looking for video ideas, so leave a comment with your favorite Halloween topic. Subscribe to get more videos that are so good, it's scary. And until next time, keep thinking. Ooh, yeah, I think I'm uh, with the monkeys on this one. There's not much more terrifying than a politician. <laughs>